everybody. I'm Jaap Age, expressionist painter from the Netherlands. And this is going to be another one of those start to finish uh, movies. And this is the start. Here are two, you know, commercially bought, cheap, you know, paintings. They are printed uh, black and white photographs, as you can see. Uh, they're printed on some uh, woven material. Uh, of course, it's absolutely not canvas. Um, and I decided that this was a nice structure to get started with. Uh, it's like sort of like a zebra mirror, right? I also decided that I want to glue them together as one, um, as one sort of frame. And I cut these, you know, I don't know what they're called in English, sort of like a cardboard like composite uh, wood. And I cut them hopefully exactly the right size so I can glue them on the back of these two frames and make them into one frame and then start painting. So this is what the zebra uh, photographs look when they are glued together. So now I have this really, really uh, shiny finish here. Um, already, I like the zebras as a background uh, because they're both lying flat and they're being mirrored. Uh, I have something here. It's the very first beginning, but it is a beginning that I like because it's a little bit, um, a little bit uh, damaged here. I don't mind too much. Uh, and my next step is to finish the deep background in my uh, secrets uh, process, which is deep background uh, whitewashing with uh, schablones and then framing. Uh, and so I will continue with this as a sort of a first step in the deep background, finish the deep background and then continue with the next uh, steps as usual in the secret series. So for my birthday, uh, my son Florian gave me this uh, little book here. Uh, it's a Japanese book about color combinations. It was originally made, produced in the 30s, in 1933 to be precise. Uh, and I looked at all the color combinations that have, have black in them. Uh, because the zebras are black and white and I chose one. So I'm basically going to follow this particular color combination. So here is the next phase of the zebra mirror. So this is all under the heading of a deep background. Lots of this will not be visible in the final painting, but a lot of it will too. So, but still, you know, in and of itself, I have to get a good feeling for this um, the background. And I have a fairly good feeling, uh, except, you know, I want this to be bright red. And once I put it on, um, I like the purple for the, for the black stripes, but I don't like the, the red so much. It almost seems like they are, you know, hanging in a butcher shop or something. Uh, they're being slaughtered. So that's absolutely not what I wanted to express, you know. So um, I'm thinking having some, you know, light blue or light green, you know, at least part of this um, these red stripes and then of course I'll be tinkering with the deep background a bit more and I'll show you the next phase. Uh, I won't you know uh, show you all the in-between little things uh, not even in the speed uh, mode I'll just get back to you when this painting is in the next phase. Uh, you see I put it uh, horizontally I originally had it like this which is also, which also was interesting. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm still not decided 
what the right orientation is. Okay, see you later. I worked some more on the deep background, uh, basically sort of covering the red stripes with this um, light green uh, bluish color adding some stuff here and there. What I like about this is that the red is still there, but it's not nearly as dominant and the whole gestalt does not have that sort of butcher shop like atmosphere. So um, I'm happy with this. Um, well, this is sort of like a strange stripe, but that's a piece of tape that I'm going to take off later and that's going to be black. So I am ready to cut the uh, stencils and put them on. So we are in the next phase of the zebra mirror and you can see it looks quite differently. You still recognize the zebras under it. Now this is looking a lot more dramatic um, then how it will come out because uh, these are all cutouts as you can see uh, and I will roll over them with a lighter color and then I will take off the cutouts and um, then you know a lot more of the zebras will be revealed again. So you can see some of them are a little bit loose here and there uh, which is very bad for um, you know, for stenciling. So I will be spending some time attaching them very well. Plus, I was looking at a movie, uh, a documentary about Jackson Pollock. You know, the famous New York School uh, abstract expressionist painter who was, you know, dribbling uh, paint uh, on, on the canvases on the floor, really huge canvases. And, um, well, one thing I learned from this documentary is that although Jackson Pollock did drink a lot of alcohol in his life, he also had long periods of uh, abstinence during which he was most productive. A friend of mine and me have complained when we finished the work that unfortunately Unlike the New York school painters, we didn't drink alcohol, so, and we should be able to. But, you know, I was cured of this idea from this documentary. Another thing I, you know, uh, realized again from watching this doc documentary is the, ho is the whole idea of a Gansfeld. Uh, it's a German word, means total field. And so what the New York Expressionist, uh, abstract Expressionist did, was sort of often uh, fill the whole field, rather than uh, composing stuff. So there's, there's a lots of theory about composition, and they did away with that, they just filled the whole field, which, which I did here, uh, in a sense, with my cutouts. Plus, I plan to, you know, after I have put on the next uh, layer to sort of also dribble some paint on it, just like Pollock used to do. And so I'm very curious how this is all gonna come out. Uh, again, there's many layers, of course, way back in the depth, there is the, you know, the photograph of the um, zebras, then there's the, you know, color, uh, coloring of the zebras, then there's all these, cut out and there's a next layer, it's going to be a frame. So um, I am personally very curious uh, how this is going to come out exactly. This is where this movie ends and I hope to see you back in the next movie where I will be uh, finishing this uh, painting called The Zebra Mirror. Maybe it's called The Secret of the Zebra Mirror. I don't know yet. We'll see. Okay, bye bye.